morning, Alex. A uh, quick demo video for you for your Antiflex Elite by Seven Chambers, and happy Father's Day if you've got children. Um, this is installed the Profi. Uh, it is the Profi that you provided me, um, and then I did everything else, right? So Profi, um, you've got the stock V3s in there that you wanted. It does not have the lens cover, so hopefully you can see that. Um, I don't have a 7 8 inch blade at the time, or at this time to test this guy. I've got some material coming to make one. Um, but everything was tested outside of the saber, so we're just going to have to do the demo without a blade today. Um, but it's a two-button setup, so your top switch here is going to be your activation, and then your bottom switch is your auxiliary. Um, I did have to build up the bottom of this switch a little bit to um, to engage that tactile underneath it. Um, if you can see that, not <clears throat> not all of these threads thread down into this coupler, and I think that. Uh, that Lewis said he's sending out some new buttons. This is the old style. So once you have the new button, you can just screw it right on and it will engage the tactile switch. I've got a, just a couple pieces of electrical tape underneath it. Um, not the prettiest thing in the world, but it, it is something that will allow you to use this saber until you get the new button set up. Uh, I also had to go in and on this switch coupler, right? Or the switch mount right here. And then also the top switch mount. Um, I had to take a drill bit and countersink the holes for the screws a little bit so I could screw the screws all the way down and they wouldn't interfere with your buttons. That, that is something that I'm typically doing on these guys right now. I've talked to Lewis about it as well. Um, no big deal. It takes about two minutes. All right. Um, so everything's working good. How to get to your chassis is you just want to unscrew the, the bottom part. I do have it on there pretty tight. entire bottom section just screws right off and then we have a static chassis um, so this is your chassis it says um, it says Antiflex Elite right here in Arabesh uh, it does have the Vaderkin so half Vader half Anakin right here these two signs as well and then it has uh, the this has the code from Yoda talking about how fear leads to anger it has that entire quote in Arabesh right there I won't bore you with the details but you can see that when you get it in person um, and this has a 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost Elite speaker and then a removable battery setup. So right here, uh, try to hide all your wires so that it looks nice and clean for you. There's your Profi board. Now the Profi board is adhesed down to the shelf, but you can get to your SD card and your micro USB from right here. And then I typically use a 90 degree data cable that looks like this, right? I'll put this in front of my face. You can see it better. But anyway, that's designed to fit right in there and lock into your board. So any changes you need to make, you can use this guy right here. And then just a pair of tweezers or something to take your SD card out. It'll come right out. All right. Um, what else do we got? We got a kill switch. So there's a kill switch right here. Easy enough to open this, slide it open just a little bit and engage your kill switch so you don't have to take the handle all the way off if you don't want to. And um, that's about it. Right. So we can throw a battery in this guy. Battery fits right in, nice and snug, and then we'll come over here and flip the switch. You owe me one, and not for saving your skin for the tenth time. Uh, you sent me the chosen one sound font by Kaseth, so that has a hero version and a villain version, and they're both on here. The heroes first, and then the villain right after that. Although they both do have blue blade styles to go with this particular saber, um, I use just a, a blue audio flicker from Fett's library. Okay, but we'll go ahead and screw that in. When, when you screw this handle on, everything is super tight so that the saber is very solid, right? Go over here and hit activation. So everything lighting up there. Sounds very good. I'll do a little. It's a little shameem action. <laughs> so. Activation over here, I mean, auxiliary. Blade lockup is holding down auxiliary and hitting the saber. You can hear that super loud. And then disengage, you just, you just let go of it. I did give you twist off, but I didn't give you swing on or anything like that, all right? There's a, there is a copy of the config file that I use on the SD card. Um, 
So if you want to make any changes, you can see exactly what I did there because I left the stock fonts on here as well. Um, next sound font, hit auxiliary. Darth Vader. Now, if you want to change color, you can just hold down aux and hit power. You hear that sound. And now you can just twist the saber through different colors. We find a red, hit power. You hear that sound. Now we've got a red blade. That easy, right? Um, to play your soundtracks, you just want to do a long press on your power. And another long press to turn it off. Just like that. And then if we go one more, we're just into the stock. Team C. By default, the stock fonts never sound as good as obviously the fonts that these guys like KSith and Kyberphonic put time into, right? They just have a different sound. They sound rather cheap. Um, I just, I, I leave them on there uh, just in case you want to mess with them. But uh, if you want the two sound fonts you have me put on here, Darth Vader. obviously sound way better. Right? I mean, that just sounds sick. Just like that. Um, but when you're done with it, we can just pop this open. And I'll show you your blade retention here in a second. But first, I'll show you. Let me turn this on. We come over here and flip the kill switch. It cuts everything like it should, right? And then you should be able to come over here with your finger from the positive side by the speaker and pop it out with your finger just like that. Um, now we'll go over, um, I'll show you your blade retention real quick and we'll talk about your blade plug. Now your blade plug is nice, but it is rather tight. Um, when this comes as a kit, the emitter is actually a separate piece from the saber and the blade plug is in it. And I'm able to get it out because I can push it from underneath. But what you want to do now is sand this guy a little bit before you put it in here. Um, otherwise, you're going to have a little bit of problems getting it out. So just sand the sides, probably about five minutes worth, and that'll slide right in and out for you. Now your blade retention is actually underneath this main button. So you want to unscrew this main button. I have to drop it. If I can show you that in there. There is... A grub screw right on top of that tactile switch if you can see that right there that is your blade retention all right it's not this guy like it was on the antiflex v2 so that that's what holds your emitter in in place don't mess with that guy that's your blade retention right there all right and we'll just screw this on as you can see i do have a little bit of electrical tape on there to engage that tactile switch because this the threading on here is uh just a little bit off but like i said it's something that has been addressed and as i understand it um, everyone who bought one of these is getting new buttons but you might want to verify that with lewis don't take my word for it but anyway that is your anyflex elite uh let me know if you got any questions and if not this will go out in the mail team monday all right thanks